solutions and everything and also even suggestions of a change which is an anti-democratic and constitutional liquor and must be rejected with the content they deserve. And it's good to the 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 the, 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 the reactions by the people are very much on point, even the space, the submissions and everything, very much on point. But however, there's this dividend where he considered this he refused the high court order to, to concede. He has now conceded. It should, for me it's it's a high grade, you know, content in a, as far as advancing our democracy is concerned. It ranks up there with Nick Mangwana conceding that there is corruption in Zimbabwe, that uh, minerals in forests are being smuggled out of Zimbabwe. It's top tier there, you know, with the Arab state governor, John Panuleta Manguchka, uh, conceding that there are no sanctions around Arab state. What I might, whatever might have made him say that, it's a statement that is put just spread everywhere. Because when Chief Charumbira said chiefs and some people are one, they're inseparable. ZANPF ran with the story on state media, TV, newspapers, everywhere, in order to send a clear message to the people that uh, traditional chiefs, you know, to, to, and also command traditional chiefs to take action against the opposition. But now, uh, he has said something which benefits us, which was when he said that it was illegal when ZANPF ran with it. Now he said something which is legal, which is constitutional, which benefits the opposition, which open, opens the democratic space. However, in genuine it may be, but we have to run with it. It benefits us in the long run. It benefits those in the rural area. It benefits everyone who is been suffering. And we need to do it. Yes, it's equally good to condemn everything. So that's why I think it it's trended and everything. Thank you. He offer to you, Nkoma Chelas. Thank you, Marco. Um, but I think the danger is to try to segment the statement, separate what you what you are talking about, and separate the. The, the tribal connotations because the tribal connotations are a qualification to what he had said earlier mind you at so that's what he was saying and he's saying after all, that, that was the import of the statement. The statement the Atanga Jesus and he was building towards because that, that's, that's how I understood it. These were not separate statements. The topic is now different. The topic was one and the same. He was trying to advance the idea that these are both Karangas. So their supporters are, both, are supporting Makaranga. So there's no need for you to fight because what you are supporting Makaranga leaders. And these Karanga leaders, after all, are going to form a GNU. This is how, uh, how he built his case. You might choose to edit the other part and run away the uh, Imwe party without the context, the tribal context. And you would understand it differently. And I think you would dis distort what he wanted to communicate. What he wanted to communicate was that there was no need for Chamisa's supporters to fight Munangagwa's supporters because both Munangagwa and Chamisa are characters. And that Chamisa and Munangagwa are going to form a genu, so there's no need for them to fight. I, 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 I understood that it that way. And it was just one one message that he was putting across, but up up Anga Chilea Foundation. So that, that's what he was doing. He, 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 it, it was well calculated, tried to play it nice, and to say, no, there's no need for you to fight uh, Masapota Chamisa because after all, Chamisa Mungwe went. That's, that's what he meant. He's Karanga like us. Uh, after all, he's going to form a GNU in uh, I even told Chamisa, why are you contesting Uyumukoma? Mazezura Akaita 40 years. He said 40 years. Uh, Akaita 40 years. Ikoimimi, uh, why Muchi Baba? Then you reduce your term of office. Instead, you should 
give each other a chance. We wait a 10 years, Zaki. We wait a 10 years, Zaki. Money 20 years, Zamakaranga. Who knows? Maybe Jamisa was on Mumkaranga foot, matters in 30 years. That, that was the import of his, his message. And it can be divided. Then we edit uh, the inconvenient part because we think that he has reformed now. Ah, ah, can as you say, uh, Panamuna Funda, where is the GNU coming from? The GNU is coming from uh, Chief Chirumbira's uh, utterances. And mind you, Kumashingogu, Ngoku no Kama utterances are no greater manifest in our body politic. Zungwe, in, in, 20, in 2018, he said Mnangagwa is going to shoot his way to power. On 1 August, people were shot in the streets. So, Adi, Adi Maoni, my statement there, from Mnangagwa's allies, to Maona, to, to, to Maikino, because we work the presidents. Tino Shanda ne Zagambo Itika. Kwa ganzi, he will shoot his way to power, and people were shot. Uya Adi Maoni, eh, Mumwe we do you, Mukaranga, a Twitter GNU, and we understand Kuti, Bana Uta Uashi, Uta Unashi, Bana Bishop Mted, we're pushing for that. So we, we are not oblivious to those machinations. We are also informed because we know from precedents Kuti, my statements are no art, Kwakumashingo, a Kunzi, Munanga will shoot his way to power. And we see people being shot. Hatinga zoe kino we match. Kuti a charumbira tichi to ikino wa iso so ayo. We we understand it. Kuti charumbira and the mako anya zote wa you laid it so well. Ukati is our representative upana from the parliament. Ukati wa rayo kuti is the president of the chief council. Staka kana pani that background yo. Why then do we say that Because the message is, is, is just as strong as, as the messenger. The messenger here is a respectable uh, representative in parliament. He, uh, he sits in the Senate because the president were, were chief council. He sits in the Pan-African parliament. And, and this is a Mnangagwa guy through and through who has openly declared that chiefs support his opinion. And by virtue of being, being president of the chiefs, chiefs council, he's saying all oh, my chiefs, the chiefs under me, they should support Zanupia. And he, he, he is saying no. Uh, we are working towards a GNU because uh, we, we want to deal with the issue of economy, we want to deal with the issue of violence and stuff like that, giving those excuses. Surely, 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 if we are serious politicians. I think that, ah, no go to our job. Ah, Zanu, Zanu is known for doing that. In my clowns, I, I you know Tuma at any particular point. To push my, my inconvenient truth, inconvenient truth, I know Zia Kuti, it can happen in you. This guy has a reputation to protect. I'm going to push that, that, that narrative. And they've been doing that. Can I my own, Zanu, I'm Gabi. Yashan Samatonga, I bribed Matonga when he was uh, deputy minister. Then go P was my my statement is very foolish. Those that are that they are, are prepared to retract it any time. But no thinking in Engay repo, they throw out their the idea, subject the idea to public scrutiny, then go on a good what's the reaction? Can I pan reaction very negative? Oh for Ungo Siana Nazu, what a hazard or maybe it's but this is the thinking that is coming from Zambia, and we can't ignore that. He, Anon Zan, he said it in, in 2018, Mnangagwa is going to shoot his way to power, and we really saw people being shot. But there was one as So he, I think we cannot, we cannot uh, ignore such statements which are coming from someone whom you have aptly described as a very serious person, Chief, President of the Chiefs Council, our representative, Kupana Africa Parliament, and it over there, I don't think we're telling it very serious if, if we do we'll do that. Uh, thank you, Mkoma uh, Chelas. Uh, I, I have a, a, a follow-up question, and I wish um, 
uh, one of our uh, contributors, uh, I think what we'll do now is we'll open for those who wanted to make their position uh, statements as well. So you can also, you know, request the mic uh, and then, uh, you know, uh, come on board. Um, interpreting all of these, um, you know, uh, uh, perspectives uh, regarding my utterances are Jarumbira and the dimension of wanting to push forward this GNU agenda from a tribalistic perspective. What would you say uh, would be your advice to Zimbabweans in context of this? Uh, bearing in mind the issues of constitution, constitutionality, bearing in mind the aspect of the Drugo and my elections, uh, what would be your very clear message uh, to all our listeners, all the Zimbabweans, uh, regarding how to interpret and how to act uh, within this context? Koma Jelas, are you there? Did you hear my, my question? Okay, okay thank you. I, I heard it. Uh, my, my thinking, which I will not um, put as advice, because I don't think I'm in a position to advise um, six or so million Zimbabweans who are eligible to vote to say uh, this is the position that we should take. But my thinking, and this is my considered uh, position, is that we should follow the Constitution. We should have elections when they are due. We can't have a situation where participants in an election sit down and say, we are not going to have elections because of this reason, because of this reason, and because of that reason. I, I don't think that's a, that's a tenable position because it's a very bad precedent. Umumumun, Ajati, our president, Ona Uti, a... I have messed up big time. Then you will come up with excuses. Ah, no, elections have been violent. And, you know, uh, even even the reason uh, Chief Sharumbira is out with Saudi, ah, Tinoba, Tinoba, why are we fighting if this is political contestation? We should compete, not fight. It's, it's easier to just say, let's stop fighting. Let's contest the elections. Go. I call, call off my legends because you have a culture of Kuba. Why, why do you ba never when you are supposed to be participating? And it is easy. And it's, it's, a, it's a conscious decision that you make to, to beat up others. Why don't you just stop beating up others and have fair and fair elections where there's no violence? It, it, is that very difficult to do? We, we cannot postpone elections because there are some more contents who beat up people. But we should advocate that those malcontents stop fighting people for the purposes of winning elections. It's it's sensible to me. But I'm lying, you can't go around beating up people so that you justify not having elections. Because any fool uh, tomorrow might also do the same. Go around beating up people and say, ah, because uh, so let's not have elections. So we might perpetually not have elections. Because the younger time was time me a good time elections, I was you move around beating people. And you use that as justification for not having elections. So can I a constitution? You have a competition. Because my elections are a competition. You have a competition here, you have a champions league. And it you have set out the rules, the noise were before the start of the season. I and all my rules. And it Amos, what do you mean me? You are Chelsea Football Club. Uh, you have six people that are injured. Well, and I am a quarterfinal. I cheat one next year. Yeah, because he is next to I cheat. My life is most Stamford Bridge. Ask me to wait. We no longer guarantee that we can control our supporters. Uh, so let's have uh, uh, the, the quarterfinals next year simply because you have six injured players. No, you can't do that because. In a constitution, constitution it sets out the rules that we should adhere to when we are conducting elections, and it also sets out the, the timelines uh, uh, through which we should follow to have elections. And let's stick to that. 
kana mazoda maybe kana zvanyanya shu pastel kuti zvesho washu a muskuda ma elections okay my proposition would be if you don't want elections if you want to postpone elections right do a referendum which is an election do a referendum subject to that that decision to the people and see whether the people would allow you to postpone election but not with the stamma garanza too we sit down because in total in the 10 years or 10 years and let's negotiate and not have elections that is unacceptable and even the opposition now is not advice to anyone but that's my position that's my reading of the constitution and that's what i believe good governance is thank you yeah uh, we appreciate you goma uh marco uh, do you want to uh, express your your position regarding this and in terms of how the ordinary Zimbabwean should interpret uh, the the recent happenings in uh, and uh, the, the the innuendo towards the GNU? Thank you. 
let's exercise our right. Let's reach that fort. Let's reach that fort. And uh, let's make sure we fought big and defend our forts. That's the most important thing. And all leaders, uh, all leaders, especially those from the opposition, they have been know that uh, the people are the biggest currency anyone needs in election. They have been examples. GNU, for example, uh, it was kind of flesh made post was done after elections in 2000 and post 2008 elections. But what did it do? It had the equivalent of creating, you know, false equivalences, which were almost became reality because the opposition was also in government. And it led to, to, to an emasculation, electoral emasculation for the opposition. We also saw that in Kenya, in the opposite, you know, when they did their GNU in 2007. The Raila Odinga was emasculated in elections. He could not even, did not even have the energy to go and, to court and everything. Because those it had played the lines of difference between his and the ruling part, the regime that is abusing people, and the opposition, which is the alternative to come and deliver freedom to the people. And also, another thing which why Odinga lost the Kenyan elections was because uh, he had made an elite pact with the deep state. And he was no, no more different than the ruling part. And, you know, the vice president of you know, of the ruling part of government now appears to be like the opposition because it doesn't have a part with the with the elite. So I'm sure opposition leaders know this and they are very clever and to never fall into this into this trap. And for Zimbabweans, let's raise that for that too my message. Let's raise that for and also hold our leaders to account. I like, you know, the spirit and everything and uh, you know of uh, Marco, really so, so, sorry Marco. Sorry, my God, just hold you. It's like you are, you are doing your closing remarks. We've got a few hands up. Let's run them through, and then I'm sure it will be within the interest of this space if we no longer have other you know, hot issues to then quickly round up, and then we will close. So can, can you save those ones? I, 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 I like the way you're going, but you are more or less of uh, running on a closing remark. Let's just allow these uh, few hands that are still up so that we, we give an opportunity before we, we quickly do that one, because it's already way after midnight now. So... I'll take this back again to my co-host so that we give these guys hands up and then you maybe probably they've got questions or remarks they need to make and then we, we quickly just do a quick roundup before it's another uh, 2 a.m. show. Back to you, my co-host. Thanks, Tony. We have a tendency of staying quite long uh, at this. So uh, the four gentlemen that are uh, up at the top here, uh, two minutes submissions, please. Again, the rules of engagement are clear. Uh, you don't personalize your submission. You don't uh, attack our speakers. You can argue on a point and have a point of separation. Uh, my responsibility is to make sure that we keep this safe, uh, this space safe for our speakers. So if you do fall out of line, I may have to interject. But let's keep to our two minutes. Uh, the roll call will be Konzanani. Then we'll go to Chris. We'll go to Charles. And then we'll go to Knife. Two minutes each. You can go ahead, Konzanani, the mic is yours. Wow. After waiting all this long, two minutes, <laughs> I'll try my best, guys. I'll try my best. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, is it uh, jealous? Jealousy. I was listening to your submission, and um, I, I, I figured out and realized that you really understood, or understand, actually, what, what ZANU-PF is about. Um, their grand plan. Um, so they will never deviate from that. So I was just absorbing everything that you were saying. So with regards to GNU, I, I don't know, as Zimbabweans, I think hopefully we were listening to jealousy, what you were saying. Um, I think we've got a tendency of quickly forgetting things. We've got a complex history. When things happen, we get emotional, two seconds, we forget. And, and one thing I've realized is that I think we are very, a very educated people, very smart. Um, but when it comes to really coming up with comprehensive solutions to, to, to really tackle our complex, you know, our problems or this war that we're facing, which has been more than 43 years, uh, we we seem to be off the mark, but I, I, I hope that we'll get there one day. We'll be better than South Africans, because South Africans, 
you know, they call us bad as bad, but they're not really as educated as us. Uh, that's what I think, anyway. So with this GNU, guys, I will take you back to 2008. So I, I yes, this was a conversation, and it's possible that it may happen, uh, knowing, you know, the history of Sanu PF. I think um, Mawari, I'll go back to him, jealousy, he said it out loud. When that GNU happened, it only allowed ZANU PF. It gave them the space to recoup. Before we knew it, they had maneuvered at Twangirai. You know? And the ministers that were allowed straight away that they originally agreed, they agreed on 41, but Ngabe put on 31, but Ngabe put 42. So that is ZANU PF for you. Since from 1981, the people that understand ZANU PF, ZANU PF is about one party state. This is the, the speech that was said by Mugabe being against any party that just opposes the ruling government for the sake of opposing it. You know, he was very clear with that. But those that, that, that remember, you know, the, 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 that speech that he met, it, it was clear that it was a one-party state. What did he do? Fast forward, he, 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 he killed more than 20,000 people in Matebele because of that. So this thing of GNU, when it comes to ZANU-PF, it's just buying time because they understand that the people are not with them. So they will do anything they can in order to hang on to power. Because we know right now, as we speak, at least South Africans are complaining about corruption and Ramaphosa. Some of us, we try to complicate it and whatever and not call a spade a spade. But we know there's rampage corruption in Zimbabwe. And it's between private sector, private sector, and private public sector. This, is, this thing is done by cartels. They are even running our banks at the moment. And if you look at this fuel sector, just just fuel sector, let me not go to the mineral because I've got two minutes only. The fuel sector, there's 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 Tabire, and then there's Russia. That barrier pipeline, it's run by Russia and and, and Tabire. The Sakunda, the BP, which is now known as Zuba, that is a two billion dollar industry. But it's controlled by three players only. How many are we, are we as Zimbabweans? Who are more than that? But it's controlled by three players only. And we think that this GNU thing that they are talking about in funerals will help us as Zimbabweans. It's a joke. It's a joke. But it's a this thing is serious as jealousy said it, that when ZANU PF says tough, things happen. And we know this is a Zuru and Karanga war. It's been there inside Zanu PF. And uh, the Mdangoga people spoke to the Mgabe people saying, it's our turn for us to eat. They've been eating and they want to eat more. Now power is, sec is now secondary to corruption in Zimbabwe. It's all about corruption. And we need to understand the Zimbabweans, the war that we're fighting. We're better than South Africans, guys. Let's be real. Let's not come here and speak good English and, and theory and whatever. We need to be practical, come up with comprehensive solutions. This is what we're telling the opposition parties in 2013, telling them you will never beat ZANU-PF through the ballot only. You need to come up with innovative and creative ideas to take ZANU-PF out of the map because our institutions are controlled by these people. And we're busy theorizing things here on spaces. We must be practical. GNU is not a solution at all. That is my opinion because I know what ZANU PF is capable, who they are, because they're in control of our assets. 2017, that coup that was not a coup, it was well orchestrated. Okay, my brother, if you can land now. So, yeah, we, we can talk about that maybe next time. Honestly, 
Anyway, <laughs> sorry guys. Uh, no, no, we appreciate we appreciate your 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 input concern. Valid points. Again, this is about an issue to every one of us is an emotive one. And so we appreciate that. Uh, Chris, uh, the mic is yours. Uh, thank you. Um, I just want to thank uh, Marco and uh, Jealous for for being our 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 main speakers. Um, my closing re remarks will start with Nigaiwa um, So when we go into a GNU, we don't we can't expect to build a country with the people that have destroyed the country. So it doesn't work. And secondly, GNU, it means you know, government of national unity, the key being unit. We can't unite with ZANU PF anyway. And and also Zimbabwe needs a overhaul. This is not like we are going to fix something that is broken. No, we are going to start everything from the, the, the way go. We are, are fresh because everything is broken. What do I mean? People will probably think I'm exaggerating by saying everything is broken. If you have got institutions that are broken, people, um, you know, they try and, 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 and make comparisons of what is happening by going like in South Africa, they are demonstrating. In Malawi, they'll be demonstrating. In this, this in Kenya, they're demonstrating. Why are we not doing the same in Zimbabwe? It's because of institutions that are broken. In South Africa, they can demonstrate because the police will allow them to do so. And they can actually go, if, if, if they stop them, they can go to court and be heard and get a fair trial. That's different from us. As Jealous Maori was talking about the organs, the best. If we do the same, we will be shot dead. So we are not in the same category as these guys. You can't. And people go like, why are you not doing this? Why are you not? Because it's risky. If we go, we, we are different from that. So I think all this talk about GNU, whether it is from a good, you know, you know, you know, heart or what, it's not. What we want is removing Zano PF in its totality and then start rebuilding our country and start doing things properly. And if we get CCC into power and they don't, we get them out, you know, and, and get a country where we can question who here has ever had the opportunity to to question Munangagwa, to say, you know, he said five things that, he, six things that he promised, and he said, keep this card. It will not just be words. It, I will judge me by actions. And you produce this card and ask me. Are we able to ask him? You know, to say, you said, you know, good health, you know, state of the air, art health. What is it? Uh, infrastructure. What is it? Jobs, jobs, jobs. Where are they? You know, all these things. We can't. And we can't even call him names, you know, but he can call us. Why? Why is that? No, 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 not like it's, it's going to make it. We can call these. These tunags, you can call him, you can call even the King Charles, but him he is protected. We can't ask him questions. We want a country where we can change, and we can't have that we, we, with people who, who suppress us, people who think, especially, I'll finish by this, especially these guys that are told that, you know, if you vote Zanu PF, you know, you, you, you will have 50 years added or, or, or to your life. And they truly believe that. So we can't have GNU with such kind of people. People that even the, the Rakash, that Rakash, knowing exactly what is happening in our hospitals, but they choose to ignore it. We can't have the GNU with that, so we have to start our prayers. So my, my advice or my prayer to, to my fellow citizens and especially the CCC, as supporters is let's 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 do everything in our power the struggle is is ours stop you know you know these um you know you know being at the at the terraces 
come to the dance floor instead of asking what is Jamisa doing ask yourself what are you doing do something raising money do something telling people in in the rural areas of what is what, what is going on what needs to happen in that way we will be able to avoid this gnu they are shaking in their boots and we are you know moving in the right direction thank you for for the opportunity thank you chris hans na chris charumbira is off site at chamuri dziri pito ye off site akutongo mpare it cuts straight away uh, and uh, we reminded the government like uh, makombo rero said we have one opportunity every five years uh, to bring them to book if they haven't been listening to us throughout the period this is the time to make them pay so we was a window of opportunity where zimbabweans in general should take advantage to bring all stakeholders before the elections uh, whether in July or in August are, are held so that a broad map which will prevent contestations post 20, uh, 2023 can be a uh, drawn and we end this notion of elections in Zimbabwe as a high stakes game where if i lose the whole country should burn or if i win then i can do whatever i feel like doing so i feel chief charumbira's utterances though they are offside though they smack of tribalism though they sound like a beer or talk or funeral talk i believe there an opportunity for us is babbles to fight each other to revisit the unresolved issues of the 2008 uh, GNU where ZANU PF and MDC are equally culpable of failing to solve the electoral issues that we have or failing to solve the external issues that we have that if brought chaos in our country it is an opportunity it is a chance for the protagonists as well as all stakeholders including civil society churches to come up with a road map which will prevent a contestable outcome which will prevent violence political violence which will prevent manipulation of state apparatus by one political party but which will bring all people together and in zimbabwe we can march towards the march in visage self determination economically and political and can join the community of nations thank you thank you so much so there's a perspective that uh, perhaps this opens up uh, an opportunity for dialogue i think dialogue in that definition uh is 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 uh, acceptable from both sides and i think we've seen the um the spokes lady spokes person for ccc put that one out knife uh, give us your perspective um you have uh, two minutes my brother thank you man appreciate the space brother uh man my zimbabweans i love you all but my problem here is like i hear a lot of the um the vote situation that a lot of people are pushing for the vote without even stopping to look at the situation i mean if if there's already been rigging if there's already been rigging um and the rigging has been proved and 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 you still believe that you're going to win the election and and my biggest situation is like for the for those who are the opposition party or the opposition leaders for them to want to overlook those irregularities and kind of still push for elections something is flawed in the party or maybe their understanding of the whole free and fair part of it is what they're not getting because it's not about just putting an x on the paper and it's not just about getting black ink at the end of the vote on your thumb it's about a process which starts from those uh, uh, processes of of census 
and then there's steps to get there. It's like a race, right? You, 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 you're in a triathlon race, and they tell you before the race you have to practice, you're going to run for a mile, you're going to swim for a mile, you're going to ride a bike for a mile. But there's only one problem with this race. You are not going to get the boat to go across the river. You will have to swim. Everyone in the team, and your opponents will get the boat, and when it gets to the bike riding, you are going to have to run, and the others will have the bike. But when you get to the end of the race, you have the right to win if you can get there in time. I mean, it's already a flawed race from the get-go. This should have been the loudest noise because it's like a past opportunity. Once we just go on and we we'll get the black ink on our thumb and we put an X and we lose and then we move on with things, we lost an opportunity right there. So now we're going to be waiting for another opportunity again. And we're going to, it's like we making excuses for them cheating. This is, I, I, I'm, I'm just not getting that part, you know, about how are we going to keep believing that a vote is going to matter when the vote is being rigged and still getting rigged till today. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Knife. Interesting perspective. Maybe the other dimension to this is perhaps it's deliberate to make the democratic landscape as difficult as possible as we march towards the election and then dangle uh, this idea of the GNU. Uh, many, many dimensions to cut and slice this one and many moving parts. Uh, thank you for that uh, submission. Uh, Amai Boy, uh, we'll give you two minutes to give us your submission and then Albert and Jackie, uh, if I can request on you, if you're okay, uh, that um, we then circle back to our main speakers and uh, bring the space to close if you are comfortable with that. Uh, thank you very. Thank. Uh, if I've missed somebody, I'll, I'll I'll come to you. I just want to check with uh, with uh, Tonio in terms of process and time, uh, if he's comfortable with what I've proposed. Uh, th thank you very much. Dada ufunga kuti pana apa lepe chikaranga pano vumetsuka kutara chikaranga shachiri kana tui English strictly.
only on the eve of elections but run as regard on parliament ukadautari sa answers ma contribution na unotoveringa apo nepapu paka uya ma allowances dopa vano wirirana vano ita zinu enderarana zinu kuti vano vano vota vese in one direction but on issues that matter for 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 for, for uh, national development missing on issues ito the electoral reforms that you have no go yimba only can have been of my international trips you could depend on a car to my americans my british koko ya o uyu ava vari kumhanya vari kuti my british zvakati ko ya o vamwe vacho vari kumhanya vari kuti ringe john ku my british the same rapist they want to go and that is no chema kwari as no zvaku ndidibatane ne makaranga ngabatane akubatana against what kubatana for what Asita wisisiki saka ndizvo kuti is it lack of participation of women in politics because tikafunga chief neoreka vai vemudzimai pasi kare kare pasi chikare ndoti dai vanga varipo mbuya nehanda ndoti dai vanga varipo vai miririra vavo vachimiririra na yawe vangu ava asi mm, imazvinyanya wedu we mazvinyanya saka mese mese mapato achona kunzwa taki ndewe zanu chamisa wachona ari kurwa na maikupe hozombobatana zvekare asi kana zvakunzi navacharumbira ngati batane zvashata saka vanofana kubatana vacho ndevapi handizoti kubalot politician ari kuti aiwa i vote yemunhu yanga ka register nezanu handiide nekuti ndiriwe muchinja here kana kuti pane ma issues taiwa acha present at a certain point yekuti vanhu vachatanga kuvhotera ma issues because kana tiri kuti muna 2023 tiri chiri kutaura about tribal uh, alliances tichiri kutaura about party alliance apa tisati tatombo taura kuti tinoje to 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 ndakaja ba manoko to ezvino to jaba futi ai wangati rege kudaro wedu we ndatenda hangwendera emberi henyu nechirongo asinda chifarira zvangu nyambo dzizere pano na mawarira wana makona apa dare ndadambuka hura weso uyu ndinotenda zvangu aiwa ah uh, my boy you are such a wonderful and refreshing voice <laughs> thank you very much um Uh, Albert you can you can you can go ahead with your submission then we'll go to Jackie and then I'll set a new lineup of the new speakers that have just joined us. Thank you host and my co-host. Um uh, in any uh from what Chief Jarumira said ga na sitora from a different end altogether. Right? That's that not be a proper. What you was the message you was trying to put across they would have to divide around on tribal lines put a chamisa na vamutanga kwa the same thing and it got but that our makaranga var kuita chiri chavo which is wrong government of national unit i shall because akapanana na kuita shumba iri kuti havanhu we wana yakupa we ita first grade ndo so kwa kuti mangwana so they are trying to find a way of dividing people this was just a political and empty political statement because eh in 2008 pakaitwa ma consultation sangrai moved around the country achindwa ma views avanhu before he agreed get the government of national unit apa bana right from what he said say ah no tora vamo twa komodi we increase the number of mps for accommodate people saka chinge chango chichi act chevanze pa mtoro chete it doesn't work like that this is for the people the people as it was good temen kunaita Is it 
just me or have we lost uh, Albert? Uh, uh, okay, thank you. Thank you, Dobbs. Uh, Albert will give you an opportunity. I think you're probably yes, driving. Yeah, I think I'll bet you might have missed the discussion by Jinji Pacho and Mao in the no register of voter, even from people who are representing ZANU-PF and those who are representing CCC. So that would not be a correct uh, assessment of uh, how we've utilized our time. But thank you again for your for your uh, contribution. Uh, Jackie, you have your two minutes. Go ahead. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Ian, and uh, fellow speakers, uh, as well as hosts. Um, my contribution when it comes to the issue with GNU, uh, let me start by saying uh, the GNU is actually definitely a waste of time. We do not really, really need the GNU. I think the lessons of 2008 to 2013 taught us uh, uh, where I think the previous speaker spoke about the emasculating of the uh, MDC uh, by ZANU-PF after they entered into the GNU. Uh, but I'm not really going to touch much on that because um, uh, for us to really say we are, we are, we are, we are going to have a GNU uh, we are actually pro prolonging zanu pf uh, in power they are regrouping uh, again uh, with another face and uh, everything that they would have to do to remain in power so a gnu is definitely out of question uh, speaker i just wanted to also add something um whilst you are talking of this gnu i think right now zimbabwe pastage atiri uh, the whole point of going to my elections, personally, I, this is my own personal opinion, uh, the whole point of going to my elections, especially in this research, we have got ZEC with their own shenanigans, we have got all sorts of things that are happening uh, right now in Zimbabwe. You will find that it's actually a waste of time. Uh, why am I saying it's a waste of time? Because even if we go to, to, to the elections today, we know for a fact that... Um, ZANU PF will never relinquish power to, to CCC. Let's say they win today. They will never relinquish power. So, I, for one, I think it's high time as Zimbabweans we really wake up and stand up. I want to agree with um, the previous speaker. I think it was uh, my boy. He mentioned something that was very important, and a lot of people were not seeing it. Zimbabwe, what is needed right now is a complete uh, reshuffle of uh, the whole politics. For starters, that's what my elections ask Kushanda. Why not have at least a transitional government in place? Where we can say transitional government, five years, we have different people at now and we have now and CC and now MDC. We have got different people, technocrats, who are going to at least uh, manage the what uh, to, 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 to do government in our country. Whilst we put structures in place, could it even regime is really proper? Because right now, Tukadakuti, Nasi, to end up my elections, my elections, they're always disputed. They've been rigged, this and that and that and that. We really need to have a total overall of the whole government system in our country. That way, at least we will guarantee ourselves with them. Whilst we have uh, proper systems in place, the next time we go for elections, we are now saying we have got proper structures, we have got a credible a body which is running our elections. Our elections are not going to be disputed and the country moves forward. I think on my own, as an individual, that's what I see. Because the Chikadabuti and the human elections, it's a definite indicator of what these guys are planning. You cannot uh, ignore it. If you ignore it, then ignore it, at your, uh, uh, ignore it on your own. Because this man is a respected man. He's someone who is very influential. He is someone who sits with your president. He is someone who sits with your army guys. And what he is mentioning is definitely... I think right now, as we stand, 
ZANU PF is not strong enough to uh, win this election. Rather, let's speak of GNU and let's see if we can entice these guys with a TTA, a GNU uh, as a means of saying we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we want to bring peace into the country. But at the end of the day, they are regrouping at the back. I think that is all that I can say as of now, not to waste uh, more time since there are other speakers who want to say. Thank you very much. Thank you for your contribution, uh, Jackie. Uh, let me perhaps do a bit of uh, housekeeping in terms of the order of submissions. Uh, Charles, I think I might have skipped you, so we'll start with you. And then uh, Dobbs, uh, Freelance, Bashona, and then uh, Lion's Den. So if we can just try to keep within our two minutes, it would be much appreciated. Charles, you can have mine. Oh, thank you, Oster. I already made my submission, so I, I, I won't, I'm not going to be greedy and uh, speak again. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much for that. And please, uh, I, I will I will just uh, drop you for now because there's a bit of a queue. All right. Uh, okay. So shall we go to Dobbs, uh, freelance, and then we'll go to um, uh, Bashona, and I think uh, there's one more person, Lion's Den. Okay, let's go in that order. Yeah, thanks a lot to us and Paul. Ah, uh, ah, uh, but we are going to put our chief Charumbira, Musape Munu, Nyembeza Sina. Ah, I respect no banana mushroom. It's very decisive. And my bodyguard, I got to I know to any more shots in top on that one. Mama got to sungwa. Check our information. We have to win this season. Can I not get it? I know think I'm a prize. I know inflate to three times. Then the other issue can achieve what on the But in a chief was no see what no easy, but not a group you are in the gun to my chief state. Teresa Turkun, you blow out, but it Then the issue are put out a good Yamuda Kunyepera and a good answer and Obana Kunita. You want to unite? A bana Mukatari says, you can talk much in Gomira. Find out to my chief surgery under your chief watch. I know so we dug a yarra at Zimbabwe with those who are the good Never one of them, but the Maglas, but she can't come out in a stogon of Gandamatom, Panatica Manasu. Saka Panas, you can get out of the Panga to get peace. My Jane, you are going to get a say. Kuvan nineteen eighty and get G and you, Yakanga to Vayato, Rungwa before Kulangasa House Conference. But most of the guys, I know last up by eighty three Kuapa to Tanga Kukura. One waka to Rawa, Papa Pacato Pond, Wavan, Pacato Mediga, my face, good water pond, Wavan, government, they are feeling Kika. Zingo Daru, Jerobagatica, eight year, nineteen eighty seven, yes, up in Nizan. Baga Pond, when you want to look about Masu, Kumpa, Vazaganga Zaba, Zato Batwa, in those Agato Garabar, Patrick Garo, Paris, you have no duty, and all my foreign secretary, and I shall. That's about one and a Sandura. I did not Zaga own, Zagato promote to end up with state and so forth. The victims are still there, they are still crying. Some even is reburied. Some even even have birth certificate. There's no that it's sort of reconciliation. Then you tell us today that Charumpira will bring any reconciliation and it can be any way for PCI will tell you that it, this is really nonsense. And it, you have indicated one thing which is for sure to say one may bring his tea leaves because he understands that the issue of poisoning is still there. People are still being persecuted. People are still being killed. Then you say that man, we have, even if you have to analyze his words, and a bag at a meeting, a bite of to vote ED. He's campaigning for ED. So he's partisan. He can't then do anything to do with GNU. Unless if you, they have that plan to say somebody from another organization, not Charumbira. Charumbira can't do anything. He's compromised. And he is tended with the blood, the theft, the blood, and blood money is there. So I don't recognize what we are trying to say. To say it. It's not even making any value at all. That is what I can say. Thanks a lot, everybody. Back to you, Austin. 
Uh, thank you so much, Dobbs. Uh, quite clearly, uh, Ari Offsite. Uh, the question still remains, but, uh, uh, is this not a, a ploy which has slowed down your top opponent? So, Unombo, you work at Zika, you know, Mafuta Kun and Gigre election, Urukampena, on the one hand for ZANU PF, and then on the other hand, you are saying, Gati uh, Taurani, freelance, give us your submission. You have two minutes, my brother. Hi, my brother. Um, sorry, but I didn't find a noise, but I'll just say it less than a minute. Um, I've got two things I want to say. I heard uh, um, my friend, my brother, um, Padare. Now my boy, but she tell her with the um, constitution, you write on Nelson Chamisa Kuna, Parafamok and Swangirai. Know your history. Before you say that, think about the, the our place at the moment. Where is a Pezeran Paul? Um, if we want to look at the constitution, who was supposed to take over? After the coup of Mugabe, let's not talk uh, without the Tiruat Zeva. Um, I'm not uh, contributing about the exactly the topic, but let me say this: If you are benefiting from ZANU PF, please be careful of the things you do, because Bamba and the Chapters are not so much with our petition, and then you feel so sorry. We are NHS, pretend they are benefiting, but they are lying. They came here, some of them, as Asilam that they are running away from fear. They got papers, they are being used by a, a certain party. Then they come here and say they are everything is fine. But stop it, do it quietly. There is nothing wrong with Thank you. Okay, thank you, freelance. Um, we really want to keep in the confines of our discussion uh, and our discussion topic. Uh, Bashona, uh, good to see you on our spaces. Please give us your uh, contribution. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, my brother, freelance, I respect you so, so much. Let's not threaten people on these platforms. Let's stick to this discussion, which is on, which is on top there, so that we can have a meaningful discussion. Answering to the question which is on top there, there is no GNU, and the GNU will not happen in Zimbabwe. The reason why ZANPF is organizing primary elections, it means they are preparing for elections. We know that Nelson Chamisa is the one that wants GNU. Nelson Chamisa sent the leaders of church council two months ago to the president of Zimbabwe, President Emerson Mnangabo. So if you saw, there's a tweet that he posted saying that uh, I had my brother, Arkushka, my election, this and that. It was the one uh, I'm referring to. He is the one who sent the the, the, the elders of uh, chief, uh, I mean, uh, church's council to meet the president. And the president was very clear, come to, di come to dialogue through Poland. That's when we can. That's where we can meet and we can discuss them. That's number one. Number two, the issue of the Karanga tribe of the Karanga people. The question that we should ask ourselves: Where was this chief talking? I'm Borikupi, quite a of Karanga. Angari mumushamake, I don't know mumushamake. So I don't see any noise about it because this person is, is, is discussing his issues. The angari chief ndanga kana uti chifu, chifu makoni or chifu makumbe. He was going to talk the same way because he's talking to his own people, his own children who are having misunderstanding in his own yard. I was exchanging with my 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 security there, my warrior, when I was telling him, stop making you know funny narratives of, about this tribal thing, this tribal thing. There's no tribal thing there. Chief Charumbira is a Karanga, President Emerson Nangagwa is a Karanga, Chamisa is a Karanga, and they are coming from the same area, right? So he has got a right to tell them what to do because they're under him. He's got a right to talk to them in whatever way, or whatever form he feels because they're under him. We should actually be glad that he's actually telling them to unite, to talk to each other, even tea to each other. So this thing of thinking that there will be NGNU, 
Unora kashwa ni zanu pia kumaelekshen. Indai muno reji za kufote mufote kana mdao tichamisa wini. Matia sema mira shakaita ya kuzuhi kutawara chokwa diga. Adimo duku nyebirana. Zanu pia viru kuzo kafuti mpawa. Bozi hato pia za ground kutara. They've told you that they've got 4.5 million in their cells, in their register today. CC, I told you, I don't know how to go to UK, I don't know how to go to UK. You see, that's the difference with ZANPF. CC has got so many people who are on social media making noise. But ZANPF has got people who are on the ground who are ready to go to vote tomorrow. Baswana, Baswana, before we attack anyone, I will go to the diaspora. Let me just bring you back to the context of this discussion. You seem to be selectively applying the fact that Chief Charumbira uh, was talking to his people when he made uh, the Karanga issue, uh, which was a very tribal issue and a very tribal statement. And then you seem to have selective amnesia when you then dump the whole statement where you open and say, in fact, I was there when Chief Charumbira addressed these people. Chief Charumbira, in four separate instances, he clearly said, let's avoid elections. As brothers and sisters, we can have a GNU. He said the first instance, He said the second instance, that on the third instance, he clearly said that So I was there when he said what he's saying. I think it would be very, very uh, uh, deceptive for you then to say, is he as na is a is a if you, are, if you are going to be taking the words from Chief Charumbira, as he said, because I was there when he said these things, he clearly asked for a GNU. The question, the question, the question, the question, the question, the question, the question and the topic that we are discussing is what are your thoughts on what he has said? Because this is exactly what he said. And when he said this, giving you my, 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 I'm giving you my thoughts. You are now telling me that uh, it's a. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm no, but Asian. you seem, you seem, you seem, you seem, you seem to be. You, you, you are, you are no, but you rubbish, you rubbish the idea that there is no, there is no, there is no. no, no, there is no, no I, I didn't rubbish anything. Uh, the reason why you said your thoughts, I'm giving you my thoughts, right? Yes. But if you want me to get into your thoughts, I can give you your thoughts. Then, we, then we don't have any discussion. We have an echo chamber. <laughs> that's that's right? not that, that's that's not the point. The point I was saying yeah, that so, so, the so, point. So if you give the, me an opportunity. No, to, I, I, to no, no. I'll, I'll give you. This discussion. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not closing you off. I'll give you. I'm giving you the mic in the next ten seconds. I'm just giving you back the microphone. I just wanted to give you. I just wanted to make sure that we are all on the same. We are all on the same table. The first instance, you seem to be then saying that uh, when Chief Sharumbira said this, he was saying this because he was talking to his family and there is no genuine. My question to you is, but he clearly says that there has to be a GNU, where he said it four times. And my questioning to you is, do you think that you are speaking amiss and off his head when you are saying all these things? That, that is my questioning to you. All right. You see, uh, uh, I like this kind of discussion. Uh, you know, Tommy, I know you very well. We have been engaging for a very, very long time uh, in different forums. Uh, so I respect and, you And, and I'm, happy, I'm happy to have you here, my brother. I actually... I saw your request. You are the last person that so requested, much. and I accepted your request because I knew I knew something controversial was coming. Yeah. We had actually closed the request, so I said, Bashona is here. Let me accept this request. So I'm happy to have you here because I know what I'm dealing with. <laughs> Thank you. Correct. So the point that I'm uh, that I'm trying to drive home here is the person that you are dealing with, or the person that we are discussing about here, is the president of Chief, uh, Chief Council is a president of Pan-African Parliament, has got influence in Africa, has got influence in the region, has got influence even in the uh, you know, geopolitics, if you want to put it that way, right? Things that he was discussing, these are issues of political nature. Him, him being a president of chief council, he's got a right to say whatever he want to say, whenever he want to say it. But not necessarily to say that the politicians can then say, no, we need to, to, to set aside the constitution of Zimbabwe and focus on the GNU. No. He can say it as a chief, he can say it as a father, he can say it as a leader. To these two people that we are talking, uh, talking about, the politicians, who is Nelson Chamisa and President, uh, President Emerson Nangako, they are politicians. He can say whatever he wants to say, but the politics can be, you know, uh, come up with a different tone altogether. So at the end of the day, what I can tell you is there is no GNU. Understand this and understand it very clearly. 
If you don't want to go and register to vote, if you think that there will be any GNU, you are dreaming. Zanpev is working 24-7. Ask Jerez Maure, he will tell you that Zanpev doesn't sleep. It will work 24-7 to make sure that they will retain power. That's what they are doing right now. They are registering people to vote. They are doing campaigns like what Nelson Chamisa was doing over the weekend. So if we want us to have a beer talk here to think that there will be a GNU, let's do that. But the reality of the day will then come and it will come very, very quickly and we enjoy it. My brother told me, you have been dealing with politicians. You have been interviewed most of these politicians that you are talking to today. Chamisa and the MCC, before they even form CC, they have been calling for dialogue. Tendai BT at some point said, uh, 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 we are going to have a dialogue with our friends from Zanpia. It's not a secret, it's there on public domain to everyone to read. Who wants dialogue here? Who wants genuine here? But from Zanpia's point of view, uh, trust me, I'm look, giving you for a fact. Mashama, there will be no genuine. Would you then say, would you then say no. dialogue is the same as, as, as genuine? Uh, perhaps you want to split the hairs for us on that one. So that, uh, because my head has also put it out publicly, that we are not for GNU, but we are for Dialogue. So, uh, if you can help us. I'm still talking. There's so yeah, many yeah. questions which have uh, posed on me. If you, if, I think if you are democratic so, so way you think you are, you, allow you should allow, allow me to talk. My, my concluding remarks, I think, or maybe... You're, you're going to have your platform to make your... your, your... Okay, okay. Uh, Bashona, uh, right. So we do acknowledge the fact that we've held these guys for an extended amount of time. And uh, the uh, submission that you have made has actually increased my uh, request list. And uh, we need to allow these guys to, uh, to, to believe. So if you can just uh, allow me to do that. Uh, so thank you, Marco, for, for, for bringing that up. I'm going to allow you, uh, as the younger one, to go first and then to end as we do now, Jilas so that we don't hold you guys here necessarily. Uh, Tony, I hope that's okay with you. Super good, super good. But you want to do it. I already think so. I want to understand because if people stay on the topic for long, usually I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Unless I just will come with insults. It's normal. Anyway, so um, I think... Uh, what we have to hey, have on a uh, can you can you have yeah, my I, I think he... uh, uh, please let's let, let's 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 stay within the line let's stay within the lens we, we we are almost few minutes to closing this was a very good show without insults going back and forth I, I, I honestly have been applauding uh, all, all of you guys for the past conversations we cannot mess this up just when you're closing it off so please let's 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 just let's just do this as we are closing off we've been behaving more, more than way too good uh I'll allow uh, you back marco and and uh, the guest uh, speaker as well uh jealous just to do these closing remarks and then we can have another conversation but sure hang on tight there you'll finish your your statement but i, I think it's very important uh, that we just close this uh you know with so much honor the way we've started this of this off so let, let, let's just do this guys in with all peace thank you but you, you had said it was me who was speaking before him. I don't know. That's what you say. No, Marco, but, Marco wants to go. To to Marco you. wants I'm to go. I'm going to come back to you. Yeah. We, we are going to allow our speakers, our invited guests, to give us their last submissions. And you are going to stay on board with all the other guys who are requesting and we'll give you an opportunity to speak. Uh, Marco, please go ahead. Good all day. right. Uh, thank you. Um, I would like to begin by thanking you the host for holding this, uh, they are very informative. I think for the past, like, is it not three or four hours? You know, it was very quality debate. And I appreciate was this modern day, uh, one, one bar, uh, they can see through reality facts. And if usually they are quality debaters, like we have the quality of, you know, 
Nkoma chela si in the others who also give quality contributions and also quality costs who can moderate it. it it's very key for our democracy. I would rather equate it to to the Pungues. These are the more the day Pungues. We can't really like go into um, first street and start beating up drums. And these are more the day Pungues where we discuss the Zimbabweans. So with regards to to the issue of tribes here, yeah, like I said initially, with regards to the, the constitution, when I mentioned the section which governs uh, the chiefs, uh, which is um, uh, section, uh, uh, section uh, which is uh, traditional just uh, chapter twenty nine, section seventeen, uh, chiefs by their very you know nature are uh, tribal ambassadors of sorts, and it's just unfortunate that uh, this particular tribal leader forgot that he now uh, is uh, a national leader. And the national leader on that purpose by his virtue of being Pan-African Parliament President and also being President of Chiefs Council. So it was unfortunate, but then maybe we can just give it to him, but then with also now the issue which is packed of debate around a unit and stuff. I can tell you that Zanpif is proven of a time and time again that it abuses uh, this tribal card. From the liberation struggle, I spoke earlier on that. I'm now just concluding and also uh, post the liberation struggle. Uh, Zanpif has been the one most needing to have GNU as a way to incorporate and cut out competition. We have seen how they did it, of course, it wasn't on tribal lines, but they did it with uh, Joshua Ngomo. Uh, Joshua Ngomo. And from Joshua Ngomo, they were also copying from Ian Smith, who did that with Mzoreo, when Ian Smith thought that maybe if he just has a black face in the form of Mzoreo, they can quell down the black people's aspirations for total independence. It did not work. And also with Ngomo, it was the same. And also we saw uh, it was Mkabe Ngomo. They were also not the same tribe. We also saw with uh, Mugabe and Trangrai. One thing consistent here is to retain power, knowing that they are on the verge of losing power. And it's a reality that Zanpif can actually lose power. And they've grasped the straws. So also going to 20, uh, post-2023, into the coup, those dogs were there. Post-coup 2018, those attempts were there, although they were poor. And to see Chief Sharambir uttering these words now, he's, it's not from his word, he, from his head or anything. He's an ambassador. He has been ambassador of Zanpia for a long time, locally, regionally, internationally. And what he's saying, he's an ambassador. And I can give an example of uh, the Honorable Klasif from Chivi there. He was uh, expelled from Zanpia. He was suspended, expelled from Parliament for saying exactly the same words that Chief Sharambira said. So if Chief Sharambira is not like demoted anyhow or reprimanded, for me it's also proof that he has been sent because those who did without being sent, the likes of class, were punished. So uh partying or saying Nanga Gwada said need a GNU or so if I know ZPF has needed unit to in order to stay in power for various reasons. That's the reality. So, and um, the moving said, I think uh, in my concluding, the last few statements uh, is that um, uh, for our democracy to be healthy, uh, I've quite suffered uh, recently. I've seen how in Spain they do their coalitions. I have, I think, but my most you know, exciting example is the Netherlands also because of its uh, wealth and everything, despite being a relatively uh, small country. But uh, you will find that they have this concept of proportional representation, like what you have in South Africa. In South Africa, had there been no proportional representation. I can tell you for a fact that EFF could not have had so many MPs in parliament. And all those other parties, like in Qatar Freedom Party and others, would not have had representation. So, one thing which led in our constitution in 2018, the opportunity that we missed was to allow multi-party democracy. Yes, multi-party democracy was fought for in the 1980s when Mugabe wanted one-party state, but it resulted in a binary 
uh, party uh, democrats, two party, two dominant parties. Those of the winner takes all uh, clause. It does not unite the country. Uh, what I learned, like in the Netherlands, is that if farmers are told to reduce the populate they are yet due to climate change, climate issues, uh, they are told to reduce their cattle, and they are pissed off. They can form a political party, and in the next elections, they have representatives because it's proportional representation, which means that every minority group, every minority political thought or narrative, has a chance of making it into council, has a chance of making it into parliament, and it increases, it increases the quality of debates. Because as it is right now, for example, in the Zimbabwean parliament, or if in councils, debate is poor, it's just along political lines, but I know, yeah, it's some people says this, so I agree. The opposition says this, I agree. It's not healthy. But if there were four or five more parties in there, they would compete for issues, compete to make policies, compete for many things. Check the people that we call most popular MPs or councillors are not known for, like for MPs, are not known for sponsored any bills or legislation in parliament. No. They are known for buying opaque beer for their supporters and constituencies. That's what they are known for. They are not known for arguing in parliament or anything. Th those are the most popular MPs that we, that we have. But in progressive setups, even let's go to South Africa, closer to home, you discover that we say, ah, no, MP, AFF is powerful. This. MPs we all debate their yeah, bills. Who sponsor bills, you know, progressive bills. So I think for Zimbabwe, it's another critical thing that we need for our reform. And uh, it's yeah, just unfortunate that in the 21st century, we're discussing tribal issues when other countries are in the fourth industrial revolution. And uh, yeah, we'll be insulting each other, discussing silly things when other countries are speaking of nano technology. We are behind it, uh, we are complicit in that regard. But uh, what is most important is that let's uh, remain true to the question and uh, also ensure that uh, we have such more discussions. Discussions solve a lot of things. Discussions. There might come some more vacuous with it. ideas for sugar. It's normal. People are intelligent after all. They can see, they can tell, they can separate, you know, wheat from, you know, chaff from wheat. It's normal. <laughs> Give them that opportunity to publicly display their stupidity and foolishness. It's normal as democracy. Those are shortcomings of democracy. We have to ensure that those are the pains of democracy. We have to ensure them. So, with this very few words, thank you very much. Yes, Mkoma Jealous, uh, uh, you can go ahead with your final submissions. Uh, Makomba Ma thank you so much. We really do uh, appreciate you. Uh, if uh, they haven't told you that, uh, note it. We do appreciate you. Uh, and uh, thank you for hanging in there with the space and giving us your perspective. Mkoma Jealous, uh, could you uh, just take the opportunity to give us your partitions? Uh, thank you so much. Um, I, I would like also to, to thank Marco. I, I think um, his last submissions uh, were the most powerful. Um, someone asked me a question on who I'm taking in 2023. I think I, I should just make that my, my last remark. Um, and and I'm, I'm, I don't have uh, any dog in the fight. I'm not begging anyone. And the reason I'm not begging anyone is, is, not, is not because Mugabe is dead or something. Uh, because uh, I've heard a lot of people saying, hey, Mugabe, I support him. But uh, it's because really no one is selling any, any issues, any tangible issues. Um, that I find substantial because in any election um, political parties or candidates should be pushing uh, substantial policies and um, you go to Obama you are pushing Obamacare you go to Malema it's expropriation without compensation the liberation struggle we knew it was about <coughs> uh, land re the repossession uh, it was about uh, universal suffrage, which uh, unfortunately they were putting as one man, one vote. 
But in this election, I'm not finding anyone who is pushing any any policy that I might uh, describe as substantial. And my young brother, Marco, uh, tagged on a very, very important issue that I thought uh, one of the major political parties uh, was going to push forward. We tried to push this. We tried to push for proportional representation when I was part of the a caucus uh, that was that that was um, that that was formed out of political parties that were in parliament. We took with, uh, we took advantage of the inspiration of the the um, women's quarter uh, because it expired after the 2018 elections. And we're saying rather than renew the the women's quarter, why don't we go full proportional representation? And and the the, the reasoning was that. The women's quota was not helping anyone because the last election, uh, the last two elections, uh, which we used the women's quota, we never had a substantial increase in the uh, number of women elected into parliament. In 2018, we had around 23% of women in, in parliament. We had um, uh, just about the same percentage in 2018. We had less than 12.5% of women elected in all the 1,958 uh, council wards. And we're saying, this this doesn't work. So why do you renew something that doesn't work? Why don't we go for full proportional representation? After all, uh, full proportional representation would ensure that we we are compliant to Section 17 of the Constitution. We are compliant to Section 56 and Section 80 of the Constitution. But unfortunately, the biggest uh, uh, the, the, the biggest opponents of this proposal were from ZANU PF and the then uh, MDC Alliance, which is now Triple C. Honorable uh, Gonese teamed up with uh, Miyara Zipo Mangwana to shoot down those submissions. And, and uh, we, we didn't understand why they wanted that. We tried to, to push, um, um, to, to actually convince them that despite. Um, all the, the arguments that they were making, via the proportional representation would ensure that we we actually were in compliance with Section 17 in terms of 50-50% representation. Also, that uh, proportional representation was less violent uh, in terms of uh, uh, the fact that it doesn't create bitter losers. I is a very question. I first pass the post. We're also uh, uh, saying that with proportional representation, you don't keep your country in perpetual election mode because I'm waiting my by election governor Rafa. My politicians are no far agawanda. Muga kaugleda kuto kuva 2018 vafa angani kupa kuma MP kupa kuma kuma councillors. We are having a country in any election every other month, and it's not healthy especially for a country in an electoral system, it is very competitive, it is violent. And we're saying, Guti, also uh, 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 proportional representation does not waste votes. I'm waiting a situation, Guti, Chamisa and Vutirwa, Ngadu Mbotura, 2.1 million, Akapu Anezeg. We have a guy who was voted for by 2.1 million people. He's not in parliament. I'm not in parliament. You know, you are wasting all those 2.1 million votes. Ajiti Baziri, you see. But you see, I have a very transigent political party positions. Congo is a TD, a TD, a TD. And as Jim Bonzi is a man, even pass pesa, but I gender. Gender balance, the regular Naguti, I mean, I'm going to tell her balance, as you a bit on the obscene side. But, eh, Trinaguti, my political parties, they anger a pusher, my policies. And can I make a chance to propose a representation? Because you are not directly electing a national president. Muriku elect a political party. A political party is depersonalized. Hakuna nyaya kuzonzi. Uyondi chamatama, uyondi gobling, uyondi chi. We stick to issues. And what builds countries cause kuanema policies? And proportional representation would... Yakaita say no chance South Africa. 
it would en entail the election of a political party, you want a percentage. That percentage would determine the number of uh, MPs. Then the first sitting, the parliament would elect a president. So it makes parliament more powerful. But the president is elected directly. We, we have a, a, a in of Sukama dictators. And because parliament in Engesiri is strong as you, you South Africa, you, you know, elect a president. Because if the president is elected by, by parliament, parliament can hold that president to account. And on my issues that they are about, in an election, a political party should be selling those those um, kind of uh, policies. This is what we want to achieve. It's not defined. Yeah, we knew, need new leaders. We need new leaders. New leaders they because yes, I know what about new new leaders. I know I should go to Let's stick to policies. Do do our clarion call could not even the politics the regrounded, not even the politics. Zinema policies, not even the politics is in a direction, not even the politics is recognizant of our, our our peculiarities as as a country. We can't afford to have elections almost every month because when we put it, but you go elect our money, we have a chief, we have a chief, every other month, they can my elections. Where do we get that money? We can have a system of good to get my elections. In five years, we have time to heal. I did not buy elections because party are winner, city rule through proportional representation. Come now, I find on get out to come party list here. They give us another representative. This also, you know, when it's a good tipper, even my quality MPs, my quanga in bottle or any good, but not in a door, door, but no pace, my magic. My, my parliamentarians. But can we get a system of good? The party is the one that is voted for on the basis of the policies that it is selling. That part, same party should be able to give us, my doctors should be able to give us, my accountants, my CAs, Chichi, Parliament. But we have Issues, a lot of issues that we can talk about. At this time, we work and a party engaged. Ah, is this just to vote? We have to vote to turn out my Benge do Ashande. My Benge do is also good Ashande. We need to reform RBZ, the RBZ Act. Top this are one center of power go RBZ. RBZ you see, and then you go look at the forex. And it is to my bank oita is also once our banks are functional. There is quite a lot of dead capital in Zimbabwe. We have over two million houses. But when we have we cannot convert their properties into equity because we and it is known. So there are a lot of issues that political parties can sell. But we have to tell that 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 we are not going anywhere. And in an IH, uh, the electorate, because in an electorate, no data hold, hold accountable. Our electorate should be educated enough to understand with the, you know, the leadership. What is it that we expect from a leader? What is it that we expect from people that represent us, from political parties that seek to govern us? What is it that we are looking forward to? But there is not a NFS, a I think Tino Tino Rasi We have to look at my policies that are being sold. Tanasina Nyaya Nanyaya. Whether the NFS Yaganaka, whether the Radzidzanai, but Kanasina Nyaya Nanyaya, I should vote for a political party that advances a stability, economic reforms, you know, advance a good permanent qualitative. Um, change in the, in the in the livelihoods of our people. That is what we want. 
Izo zo vanu ngava wene ma ideas. Voti wuda isi sukutu kwa agriculture. This is what we want to achieve. Kumaining this is what we want to achieve. Tichaita isi, tichaita isi, tichaita isi. Pato ngotu wuda wati, we want new leaders. Ayoka. An election is bound to bring new leaders. Ya hapa na election is nga unzi a new leader. Even kana angaripo, if he's re-elected, he's, he's a new leader because he's been given a new mandate. But Gachive Nema policies, and that's my submission. It's a clarion call to Zimbabweans. Let's know what we expect from our leaders. Let's know what to expect from political parties. And these should be policies. Zino test Vanungavasa Basachka Kukanda my ideas in the in, in the public domain so that people question them. And it in the door and yeah good kuna dead capital ye two million uh, houses dirimuno ticket in on average each house costs forty thousand. We have uh, easily eighty billion that we have as debt capital. Irmuzi dinner ne ne ma data ne ma ne maning ne ne ma rata muzi mu mu patsimbazeda. But we cannot convert that into equity because you need to know the Arab is it. Chaita kuti ma bengi avar. We have an unfortunate situation. Oh, the stand stand chat the jail jail. Yal yal avar mu no yasera ne one branch because the environment is is not conducive. To advancing banking, saka ngati te kutuma bank edu ashande to si anano ano chinga mari pam pam pasma kona ku ne anu maya ne zima bank e waji chinga chinga mari waji tindo business izo zoto zoto chinga kwa ita kutu vanu edu vakuanza ku accessa malonzo ku ma banks vane zima zawa waji kuanza ku ita equity release waji invest in other sectors of the economy that is what we want izo zoto ngati wane Tema discussions akaita saiwa towards elections party yoya yetu zote ishindo zote noda ndo zote ku 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 promise i this is ndo ndo ma policies edu at now which we are pushing through if you agree with them vote for us but the government has not got ah you you the best foot forward best foot forward the actual to describe what's best about it despite just the inundating us no go to zote best foot forward.
and as such it also applies and i'm glad that bashona you picked that up uh, and i think on that basis we would then agree uh, as people who host and co-host spaces that uh, that now becomes the modest operandi on all our spaces with Zimbabweans. we don't threaten each other we disagree on certain matters and we express ourselves but we never reduce ourselves to uh, threats uh, with that uh, i would like to come back to you bashona because we we had to stop the robust discussion that was happening there uh, to allow our speakers to give us our party shots uh, i hope you are still uh, locked and loaded and ready to go i hand you the mic yeah thanks my brother ian and thanks the host for uh, giving me another opportunity uh, again to to share my thoughts uh, as the topics you know requires uh, first, let me correct uh, my brother, Marco, there, when he was referring to former member of parliament for Chivi South, uh, 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 Comrade Kilazivo, whom we still respect uh, as a former member of parliament. A, any political party, co-host and, uh, and the host, you realize that it has got its own rules and regulations which each every member is supposed to follow and adhere to. The example which my brother gave to convey Chief uh, Chief Charumbira or President Chief Charumbira with uh, with uh, Honorable Sivu, it doesn't fit at all. Comrade Chief Charumbira, the President, it doesn't belong to any political party. So he's got a right to say whatever he say whenever he feels like, as long he is not violating our laws in Zimbabwe, right? So no one will call him to ask him uh, to say what you said on that uh, on the funeral of uh, the mother of uh, uh, our Harare mayor uh, was wrong or was correct, right? Because he's the chief. It doesn't belong to any political party. I think that one I've addressed. And then I want to come to my uh, uh, Seguru Mawari on the issue of, stand, of Standard Chartered Bank. Standard Chartered Bank, Seguru, you realize that this bank is one of the banks which was affected by the sanctions that we're always crying about every day. Standard Chartered Bank was fined more than $80 million by United States, United States government. If you go and meet the CEO of Standard Chartered Bank, will tell you these are some of the reasons that made them very, 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 very hard to operate in Zimbabwe. That's the reason why they moved their headquarters to Zambia. It's one of those reasons. It's not good to go about Benga Maruma Bank, cannot business are risky. It's one of those reasons, Sekuru. But let me come back and lend my submission, a host and co-host. I think in a few seconds. The Zimbabwe that we want is the Zimbabwe where we discuss things that are for national building. The Zimbabwe that we want is the Zimbabwe that we discuss things are shunning violence, gender-based violence, political violence, a, I don't know what it's called, power or public violence or, you know, mutual violence. Those things we should shun away from it and let's focus on national building. Let's agree to disagree and let's agree to agree. That's how we can build Zimbabwe. We've got so many members of parliament who have been in parliament for 23 years now. Some of them, they never said anything in parliament. Right? What are they doing? I agree with Sekuru to say, eh, 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 as, eh, eh, as, as the voters were the ones who have got a problem. We continue to vote people like Maurice Jai back in parliament. But you don't say anything in parliament. For the past 23 years, Harari is something else. So what are we doing as voters? I think this is, this is, this is I, I, I would propose a, a host and co-host to bring another topic next time when you are, you are going to have a space. Let's discuss the type of leaders that we want or the type of uh, you know, members of parliament councillors that we want in our areas we come from. Because this will then make up, you know, make us to wake up and think broadly. 
Do we need someone from from a political party because his his mavambo is unpayful, is or is is chino mukuto or chino chino mota? Kuta zungo mira uti ndi 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 MP. Asina jaru deliver. That's the reason why I still support Zanpev because they would then tell you let's go to primary elections. Tonu dambura na eko kuma primary elections. I come from Shuruk. Francis never take him visa because he was failing to deliver. Right now, the one who is there, he might lose. He might lose the position. Those people are not happy with the. There's no self is deliver. This is what we do in Zanpev. So I would continue to challenge you, host and co-host. Next time, please, let's have a discussion on the type of leaders that we want in our communities. I think I'll end there, and I truly salute you, and respectively, uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to make noise as usual. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks, Pastor. Host, host, can I just intervene? The board, I'm Zukuru Angu. One year, our name is Zukuru Enyu. Dance it out, I'm Zukuru. There's one interesting thing, Chirukaitika in the banking sector in Zimbabwe. Can I ask you, Mr. Zimbabwe, in the end, the people who are responsible for headquarters here, caps, and it is a equal kind of kind of kind of one, kind of one, when they marry. So the people that have money are now putting their money's mo anons ma safe deposits boxes. Mo safe deposit box, you mo mo mo. You are onongo but they are marry seven hundred and fifty dollars a year. You put your money there. A cabs are in a chokuita ne Maria go because they don't even know whether in the safe deposit box money there is money or there is jewelry or no money matter to these or my certificates are go. So it means good. There is a lot of money. You can go stash one bank and it my safe deposit there. It's in cash and but when the business of the banks they are good. In the kind of deposit a Maria go in any go bank. The bank should be in a position to lend that money, e oil, and that money also makes makes interest quite deal. But when you know that my bank is a shandy, they behave like Arabs, it man. But the better thing is that Maria and I must remain in a moment. Eh, you know, panza kuya access a pandi no da. I eat, I have interest, but they are down to twenty five thousand again. Just simply go there. A pundo check on my biometric features. Angu, I take my card. I, I put my finger there. It, it opens up. No, no, key no, self deposit box. Angu, I take my money and I go away. And a lot of people who can end up on a Monday. Come on, pane vamu arungu adaka ona. They have got the vakabata zuma card boxes. Zuma zuma news print. She has a kind of type X. I think there were about fifteen zuma card boxes. Yet it was money. Real money, my US dollar, my hundred dollars. I spend maybe it was more than five million. I lay in this because we have safe deposit boxes. So, my bank account no shanda say when you have five million, you mono one. You are going to have to go and buy those. She no longer has safe deposit box because he has a security system and energy. But this is a pit. Já o Raul fala na no mundo, a gente tem que ter a Maria que mo ano de ti ma ma ninguém, ma ma septic tank, dois a five million em septic tank. I'm not using it. No one is using it. It's not generating any money for for me in any way. Why? Because em lugar isso é o bank. Era busy, you know, going on with my account. And we we five million US dollars. We always say, "You have five million Arab teachers." So, I was in a confidence. Come a bank. My bank has a good chance of success. I go on a moon. On a Mary, on down to some Mary come bank. Muzimbab. Nenya ye, nenya ya kuti. My monetary policies edu are very fluid and unpredictable. Reserve bank yedu ino ranoa sezo mnongo itam sanga noe ni uzan one center of power. But the chairman die die kafina die everything. Anything that he says goes. Apana corporate corporate governance chayo chayo. Saka kana ma banga kasa shanda aguna economy nombo shanda kana wana jichera ma mume na aguna aguna business zetu kaza kana. Because I have loans, you can't access my loans. It is a territory of business. But the territory of India is my real. Because we are afraid we are going to use my bank. Because of the way 
the Arabs that is operating. It's not operating as a bank of uh, Nigeria, a lender of last resort. In in Oshanda, se go allocator. Se se ch 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 instrument se go allocator foreign currency. Ne ku promote worry. Ne vachi dealer ne arbitrage e exchange rate. No one. So na wondu ku zoms world. I am a banker. I stand. I stand here to chat. It has to be changed. And those are the issues that told out my political parties that was to now change I take a die to die to die because we want to achieve this. Thank you. The other better my 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 closing remarks is sorry. <laughs> uh, it's okay, Goma Goma jealous. I think the maga 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 zitaka wenu yuka yura maposa kuti you know you know we bomb soft. Uh, speak truth. Taka kopa taka to kopa ba. This is one of my kopa. Speak can you speak truth? You can give us your contribution. Go ahead, my brother. Yes, no, thank you very much for another productive space, I would say. Take my Kumkoma Ian, Kumkoma Tonyo, Kumkoma Mako, Kumkoma Jealous. That was um, something else. I think another perspective to what we always speculate and we try to explore in these spaces, which is a brilliant um, uh, space because of the decorum and the ability for everybody to, to express their thoughts and um and contributions. So thank you very much for, for, for the space. Uh, disclaimer, in Nangwa, I'm not from Mashingwa, and this one, Mashingwa, it's like I, I've got nothing to lose in this one. Maybe, I'm going to go to the house, 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 I'm going to go So for me, I think the remarks from, from the chief were probably strategically positioning himself for, for something greater because he probably knows could he, either way, either it's going to be Mnangago or Chamisa. So it might be that the guy is just placing himself in a position where he is in favor with both sort of people um, by making these sentiments, right? This is me just thinking. And also there might be um, I would like to think there might be so, sort of somebody's with their mic on. Um, sorry, there might be um, uh, also the the pressure of being in a at a funeral and also tapping into the emotional aspects of the occasion, so that he gets his sort of message across or what he's trying to try and push through. So that's the way I've seen and I've sort of read into it, just to, to think he's going on a tactical sort of basis, so strategically positioning himself with the two candidates who've got a chance of being the president of the country. Since from now, what we've learned via this conversation, he might be compromised in in a lot of aspects. He might be trying to put himself in a, in a better position regardless of who wins uh, the next elections. Um, but the question that I think arose for myself um, was that why would a party that is uh, claiming to have 4.5 million uh, people uh, in their cells actually want a GNU if they are set for another sort of thumping victory, right? And this is what I, I think my, my sort of thought process is, is, um, is, is hanging on. Um, and uh, just to, to, to just agree uh, with Koma um, Jelas Mawari there, I think, and also to support his um, argument, because I'm, I'm, I'm in the UK and I'm based in the UK, the thing is, it's like the strong civil servant uh, having that in place is what keeps governments functional. Because like how I've seen it is that here in the UK, civil service people, they'll spend 45 years in service and they'll be working in government for 45 years and they see governments come and go and they still remain. And I think until we have a strong civil service in Zimbabwe, 
only then are we able to have established um, systems in place that will function and that will run the country regardless of who's in power and who's out of power. Like I always joke around with my friends, Kuti, like yeah, civil service is, is like I'm at the moment, it's not, it's not Islamic government, it's people. Yeah, and that's the, 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 the joke we, we, we share amongst our friends that, you know, the civil service is that critical to this country and we need to understand that this is an important aspect of any sort of a, um, a government. Um, that comes into play. And then policies are part of what they would want to define it. But at the same time, accountability uh, and also the trans, uh, transparency is is, 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 is is sort of kept in check by the civil servants because they are supposed to be uh, people that are not really aligned with any political party, but they would look at policies and how workable uh, those policies are and the deliverables in the policies that are being suggested by the government, and they give an, 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 an honest and independent opinion to, to what and, and how those things should should work. And then in terms of, um, uh, I think, the submissions from Bashwana, um, I think it's, it's a bit disingenuous for, for, for you to say on, on, on this platform that the chief has not, is, is, uh, is not partisan, because we know from his history and what we've been told on this platform that he is very much partisan, right? And you've also so gone to mention on another councillor, um, oh sorry, an MP who has been silent in Parliament. And also, when we start mentioning these MPs, can we also mention the Philip Chiangwas in this context as well? Because it's very neglectful to, to forget uh, those that are on our side when we are talking about the silent. MPs and all the silent or ineffective uh, MPs that we have um, in, 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 in our parliament. So we, we make sure that all of them are voted out of, of process. And all I would love to say, and I would like to say to, to Josh, when I to wish him all the best. I'm, I'm landing. Yeah, no, the, the request is if noted, could the panel for now just space here to discuss our uh, match and whether, uh, you know, uh, they've been doing a good job. I think it could be exciting. Uh, so, I, so at I least think, you, I, I think you should, I think we should do that. Um, and I think it will, it, will, it will actually be so, 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 so informative. Um, and then just to, just to learn, um, I'm, I'm hoping for, for, for Bashwana, um, Bashwana, uh, that his sister, uh, Malab, I think she's called Lynette, she gets to contest in the primaries. Um, hopefully the, the, the system and the structures will allow her to, to contest in primaries so that uh, she can actually come to the national stage where you know, the, the, the voters are given an opportunity to, to, to vote for her or, uh, or not, uh, since it's a democratic process. Uh, but again, it's us pushing the democracy out there and making sure that uh, if the elections are going to go forward, everyone who has put their CVs in can actually put their sort of norm out there. So, and, and, and their candidacy out there, so, so it should happen in a democracy. So, um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say today. And um, thank you very much again for a very productive and informative discussion today, Tony. All right. Uh, uh, thank you uh, so much to, to to you guys, and uh, uh, more importantly uh, to our guests and uh, all of you guys who have come through here. It's uh, it's two a.m. Uh, uh, we do appreciate the time, the conversations, the exchange of wise ways, wisdom. We are live on our Facebook page. We are live on our YouTube page, and uh, it's just been a very long night. And I honestly thought that we we're going to be running only up until twelve midnight. And I know there, 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 there are lots and lots of topics that are going to be discussed. And one of the topics that I would honestly, uh, lo I'm looking forward to personally to be hosting very soon is uh, uh, which party do you think is going to be winning the next election and why? And I'll be expecting my usual suspects like Anava Shona to be there and very much available. I know it's going to be a very much interesting as pests that are going to be heavy. But in the meantime, 
uh, because we are very much news related and we react to news. We are going to be just uh, breaking and reacting as and, uh, as and when uh, news uh, reacts. I'll quickly give this uh, microphone to my co-host uh, so that we just quickly wrap this, uh, this, uh, this show up. And then after this, I'm just going to be I'm giving you... Oh, sorry about that. Am I better now? I'm trying to manage both the YouTube and, and Facebook. Am I better? Uh, you're 100% now. You're 100%. Sincere apologies. I need to get used to this. <laughs> so, yes, like I was just saying, uh, uh, we are just now uh, calling it a wrap. And uh, I'll be quickly just handing, uh, handing the microphone back to my uh, co-host. Then after this, I'll be playing you uh, a video. I think in full, that video is going to be the closing video. Uh, exclusively to you guys so I may be forcing you to do one thing obviously to switch over also to our uh, Facebook and then you get to watch the full video of exactly uh, what transpired there I know you guys managed to watch only the nine minutes of what Sharon, Chief Sharon Bira said but uh, why not give you exclusively because you have been with us and please more importantly I'll take this opportunity to ask you guys to just follow TechMegZW we are actually using a very fresh new account our original account was blogged uh, I think Twitter just mistook it when we were hacked and we made a complaint that we've been hacked. Twitter has failed to actually open uh, this Twitter account to us. So in the meantime, we just have no choice but to grow this new account out. Make a passionate plea uh, to all of you guys who are following us right now, who are part and parcel of this space to just follow TechMegZW. It looks like it's going to be a new Twitter account for his, as long as uh, Twitter will have to open up our new account. For In the meantime, this is the account that you're running with. I'll quickly hand over the microphone to my co-host here. Uh, before I close this uh, space with a very interesting video exclusively for you guys who have been here with us. So this is your bonus. We'll do this more and more uh, uh, in as much as we are going to be having these shows. So yeah, there has to be a certain benefit of following us, right? Over to you, my cause, Ian, as we close this one down. Thank you so much. did I skip you? I see you with your hand up. What <laughs> I spoke and then I, I came back. But anyway, I'm not submitting anything. <laughs> I think you guys heard me anyways uh, when I was, uh, yes, a, a bit emotional and stuff about us as Zimbabweans in terms of having practical solutions. Yeah, I was going to I was gonna challenge someone, but let me just let it slide uh, about sanctions. For me, yes, there are sanctions. But uh, I don't believe that. Uh, oh, okay, we are going to let it slide, my brother. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't believe that sanctions are, right. the, are the whole problem <laughs> in Zimbabwe. All right, okay, all right. Okay, yeah, all right, all right. Let me go straight to the point. All right. okay. Everybody, we just want to extend our thanks to you. Uh, you've been patient, you've been uh, tuned in. I've got DMs of people tuned in from different places. We really appreciate you. We appreciate the time hanging in there. Uh, the speakers and contributors, we appreciate your robustness we thank you for sticking uh, to the rules of engagement and we definitely look forward to uh, meeting you again on our spaces uh, Tony is going to share the link with the full video what you have on the YouTubes and the media spaces is just a nine minute clip uh, you can actually have access to the full video that's on um, TechMag uh, Facebook uh, handle. So with that I want to say thank you, have an awesome evening, afternoon or morning depending on where you are and hope to see you guys soon. Alright uh, thank you so 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 much, we fully do appreciate your time and uh, thank you so much uh, to my co-host. Uh, it's always a pleasure yeah, to fly this uh, plane with you midnight all the times. So uh, once more again, I'll, I'll have to remind you guys to uh, follow this uh, account that is hosting this show, TechMegZW. Officially, we are crossing over to our Facebook and YouTube. But I'm sure if you just follow TechMegTV, we are TechMegTV on Facebook, we are TechMegTV on YouTube. We are TechMegTV even on Twitter up until our account is back. Uh, so I think I've managed to share the link. I'll share it quickly again within the comment sections, but this is where I'm going to be playing the full video of how it all began and how it, uh, how uh, Chief Charamba really said what he said in full. So this is it. I'm crossing over to our Facebook and our YouTube page and to all our guys who've been watching on this Twitter space. We fully appreciate you and we do thank you for the commitment and the support. Let's do this next time when we have another hot uh, breaking topic. My name is Tony. It's a pleasure always to be with you. Goodbye.
Vanhu vakanza kuona vari pa center inyika ine Empire, <laughs> I see
If I was a Kanaka Majua, there are more five Barai who follow a Kanaka. We don't see a map with a Musha. No good to be a Moinda, Mona with the Subodo Shopirai, Subodo is a Mumbrofita. Musia Akadel Mumba, Musabinda Nai, Gaf is a Kanaka. As a Lapsia map, yes. Sulu Mazulu, we get my Zapila, Poka, Pala, Guara, Pomana, or I have been on the Vita Mara, and I wash it. I say, and Lama Yamaya, and the Trapos. Lawia, I see, I'm shaking as an atom on the show. I'm not a little man, I'm a man of a da, Mona. Sister, I tell you, I'm a woman. Murumoi wonga chumi sato, kama kapu ose, kada kila hospital ya kara mitoa do, do mto kwa umma do. Kwenye je eight zifuti chaka to budo fudi ba, saka fudi tibu kwenye dishi, kama na, ab muri wonga zikwa, na dinda ndi 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 Chabutanga, Gabajo, and the other one is the other one. And the two came when I was a little bit of a problem. I don't know if you know about it. I'm a boy, no way, boy, when you're a boy, I don't know if you know the effect. I'm not going to be a good person. She was just being a party, never talk about five to ping it. Never let's ping it. Don't put talk. Sarah, I go to a job of better than she knew. I give up. Okay, I'm going to buy me. Show a show a job party. Go in my direction. Size. And the toes now to proceed the noise. One way. Wow, I should be. I did the noise. I did noise, no noise, no noise. You are going to go here. Who are you? My God, I am so proud of you. My God, I am so proud of you. Papi, I am so grateful. 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 Kwenye kufanya mengi kuna restaurant imwe kwa wanu la lunch na imbi osi wanu kutoa kwa kuto kama ushirikiano wa tisi wa papa tisi wa kwa wazamu kuto kwa next kwa mbele baje kama fenga na wajita ni ya free asi wuno kwa 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 mila kwa kwa ah uya uya watenge sana wanga chora na nini ah kwa kwa kuru we ni uzo wano kwele wajibu 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 I was wrong. My chat came with him. He didn't know to what you want. Put that in the chat. Tell me that one. Tell me that one. We are going to do it. 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 We are going to do it.